It's about time running into this man, Joe Engels, watching the magic. Congrats on the new deal, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, really happy. Um, probably a little unexpected. We obviously didn't know where we were going to kind of end up. And um, just an all-round good fit, obviously basketball-wise, but also with the family and, and Jacob and his little situation. Um, so just a really good fit all around. So we're, we're pretty pumped to be there. Agent like a fine wine, I must say so myself. They have all the TV Summer League highlights of all the big stars. 2009, there's actually a lot of highlights of you setting picks for Steph Curry <laughs> playing the four. What are your memories of that? And you were just telling me you were the one that dropped 25 here. Um, I mean, I think that I think it was honestly the last time I came here, or close to it. Um, not a big va fan of Vegas, but obviously with a new team, and um, I know Coach Mosley pretty well. So, like, come and hang out with the guys and meet him. And we had a had a little team dinner last night. So. Um, I'm out of here first thing tomorrow to get back to the family. You've been around a while. I've, st I've still got the South Dragons jersey from when you started at the NBL. And now you, you must be... Above the bed. Above the bed, it's, it's hanging up. You must be impressed with the way the NBL's growing. I mean, we see the connections here every year. It continues to get bigger and bigger and produce NBA talent. No, absolutely. I think every time you see rosters or teams, there's, there's always Australians involved or in a training camp. And um, obviously a few kids getting picked up. and. Yeah, it's just good to see. I think, obviously, back in the day when I was young, it wasn't happening like that. Um, obviously, Boga and Patty and those guys kind of opened the door a little bit. And I mean, now it's there's. I mean, everywhere you walk, you bump into. I bumped into you. Um, everywhere you walk, you bump into Australians. So it's it's pretty cool to where it was 20 years ago. Now, lastly, can't let you go without talking about Boomers because they're running around with the World Cup actually out, out the back there. Josh Giddy sitting front row, Matisse, Duop, Breath. There's a big contingent of Boomers camp guys here. I know you're excited because you've already told me, but the camp's <laughs> coming up, the World Cup. How are you feeling? Yeah, really excited. Um, I think with my whole situation and my knee and towards the end of the year started to feel really good and obviously our season got cut a little short. And um, So for me, in terms of my health and my knee, I'm probably at the best what I've been in the last kind of 12 months. And um, obviously playing with, with Patty and this new, new kind of era of young guys and a couple of us old guys still running around. We've obviously got a really good team and... Um, yeah, the guys that, that, that want to be there and play, it's going to be, it's just going to be a, a lot of fun. So, um, as you know, we've got a great group, great coach. Um, and yeah, looking forward to getting it. Uh, where are we going? Japan. It's starting to think that actually Greg Poffage might retire before you retire the way. How good you're feeling? I, I do, yeah. I, I am feeling good. It's maybe the year off was good for me. I'd, I'd played too many consecutive years. So maybe the knee was a blessing in disguise. But um, no, I, I feel good and my, my body's in a good spot. and. I think with everything, my, my family's happy over here. The kids are really good in school and Renee's figuring some things out over here. So it's just a, an all round. It's been a, a really good few years. I'll let you get back to watch your team, but did you bring your coffee machine? Cause I'm struggling out here, bro. Nah, we've got some people that get coffee for me. There you go, that's <laughs> what I thought. Appreciate your time, man. <laughs>